And you know what? I'm just gonna say it. Maylord is a jerk! Yeah! Oh, he's yes. my father, though! Wing Kingdom. A restaurant of wings aplenty. And the regular show park employees' unending need for those tasty wings. Every now and then, they overindulge on those tasty wings and become, in a lack of a better term, intoxicated. Have you ever asked yourself, what made the wings do that to our beloved characters? Today, let's dissect the wings and find the hidden answer. Today, we will use four questions to find the answer. First, what substances could cause this? Second, how much of the substance each wing holds? Third, are they addictive? And lastly, why would the wings cause this? First, let's start with what substances could cause this type of reaction. The first thing that comes to mind is alcohol. But there are multiple illegal and partially legal substances that can cause a similar reaction. Even though other substances could be possible, it's more likely that it's simulating alcohol. Why? Well, what do some people do after work or to celebrate with friends and co-workers? They historically go out to eat or go to a bar and have drinks. Likely, this is a Cartoon Network friendly version of drinking beer. And different wings could be different types of harder alcohol. Since that's the conclusion to the first question, for the second question, how much beer would the wings equal out to? The park crew usually doesn't get messed up after eating a few wings or even one order of wings. Usually it takes multiple orders to cause this effect. If you figure that each order of wings between 6 to 12 is like ordering one beer, then it would make sense that they were feeling it after a couple orders. This ties in the very last question of the video, so we'll wait to answer the rest of this specific question. But this leads into our third question. Are they addictive? This is an interesting question. Alcohol is not necessarily addictive by itself, but if you abuse it, you can become dependent on the effects. For our beautiful characters, I don't see them unable to make it through a day without having wings. They seem to only have them on special occasions of celebration or possible sadness. But, let's be honest, Benson looks like he's sneaking drinks in his office. So, this leads us to our fourth question. Why would the wings cause this? To answer this, let's finish answering how much beer would the wings equal out to? So, if the wings are supposed to represent alcohol, then they aren't fully a food product. If you drink beer on an empty stomach, then the effects that you get from it will happen with less volume. So, it's likely they're drinking on an empty stomach. If each order of wings equal one beer, then they'll be pretty out of it by the fourth or fifth order of wings. Or, even by the second order depending on your tolerance or even your size. In conclusion, the wings from Wing Kingdom are more than just wings. They serve two purposes. They allow for adult content to be hidden in a channel meant for a younger audience, and they give us a reason to investigate a mystery that, that really isn't a mystery. Either way, wings are delicious and that's understood in both our universe and the regular show universe. Also, don't wing and drive. <laughs>